Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, what I have in front of me is a Dell Precision. I believe this is the uh, M440. And this has a, a special processor in there. It's actually a Core 2 Dual running at 3 gigahertz with 6 megabytes of level 2 cache. So it's, it's quite a uh, powerful little notebook um, as is. It has the um, NVIDIA, I believe, 770M professional video card in there. And that's basically um, uh, a GeForce card, an NVIDIA GeForce card. The drivers are optimized for business usage. So uh, this screen, something very, very special about the screen too. The screen is actually a true color. Uh, it's actually, I believe it is Adobe uh, certified for your photoshopping. And um, it's, it's actually, I wish you could see in real life because this video camera that I'm using right now is only 1920 by uh, 1080. The screen is actually 1920 by 1200. So it actually exceeds the resolution of uh, uh, the camera here. And um, it's, it's a really, really cool screen. It's uh, 15 inches, but the resolution, the color uh, accuracy, contrast, uh, everything is just amazingly quick. How long can you go to the, uh, uh, let's see, I'll, what I'll do is, uh, yeah, I'll try to zoom in on the, but 1920 by 1200, that's native resolution at 60 hertz. So uh, I'm going to show a little bit more about the laptop itself. I have a wireless mouse up here. And uh, right now we have just Windows 7 Home Premium in there. And as you can see, I'm going to zoom in. This is the Core 2 Dual T, this is the T9000. Uh, Core 2 Duo T9000 at 3.06 gigahertz, 4 gigs of ECC RAM, and 64-bit OS. So, it's uh, the system. I'm gonna zoom back out because it's really hard to. So we have for the processor, uh, 66, 66 for memory, 64, 64, and 75 for SSD, and the SSD. Uh, really helped out this laptop too because everything's already so pretty fast in there. Uh, the SD we have in here is I'll put it right side up. This is the uh, the Vertex, and I, I don't think we can really see it very well. It's a Vertex uh, 4, uh, 512 gig. So this is uh, it supports trim. It's uh, it, this this particular version did have the adapter in there. We're not using it because it went to a notebook. A SATA 3 interface. And um, not much else on there. The Indelex uh, uh, controller in here, and but the specifications on this thing are pretty awesome. And there's a lot, so I'm going to read it off. I don't want to misquote anything. Now, uh, with a SATA 3 interface, you have a sustained sequ sequential read of up to 560, and the read is up to 510. And we have an indicate uh, 4K random read of up to 95,000 uh, independent operations per second and the random write of 85,000 independent operations per second. And now you have a maximum uh, independent operations per second at 120,000. And that, that's pretty amazing actually for a, um, an SSD of this you know, size here. Um, shock resistance is all, you know, 1,500 Gs. Storage temperature is minus 45 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius, so, you know, it's pretty decent. Uh, operating temperature is zero degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. It takes quite a bit. Power consumption at idle is 1.3 watts, and power consumption active is 2.5. And it has a five-year warranty, so it's it's hard to beat. And it's it's actually a little bit more affordable now, you know, than it used to be. It's around 480, you know, on average, 500 dollars. Uh, these used to be like 700, 800 dollars, you know. So it's definitely worth investing into it, especially if you have a. Um, you know, a heavy-duty workstation computer or a gaming computer and stuff like that. So we're actually going to, what happened with uh, this particular model that a lot of people have having problems on and, and I don't know if anybody's actually done a YouTube video about it, but Dell or, I put it on Dell and NVIDIA have not been supporting the drivers for these professional notebooks. Okay, so with this particular notebook, if you put Windows 7 64-bit on this professional notebook, what it would do is it crash because there's a 
Apparently the NVIDIA driver, the professional driver for the Quattro driver was uh, crashing. And um, what we can do is we can show you the... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in because this is such a high resolution screen that you can't really read it. But this is the Quattro FX 770M uh, and we have uh, a dedicated 512 of uh, video RAM and you know total so it is it can full system RAM you know so up to 2.297 of uh, shared RAM but if you take a quick uh, look at the BIOS information version 62.948F01 that's actually a GeForce driver now I forced the GeForce driver into this program uh, into uh, this driver, I mean the GeForce driver into um, the OS and you know it worked it worked and now uh, this professional graphics card is running a GeForce driver, a gaming driver and with the gaming driver because they're um, usually updated it actually uh, it actually runs games more decently so uh, for example let's turn on Transformers follow Cybertron and you can see how the SSD will uh, uh, load up everything. Oops, I didn't bother. I'm sorry, I'm double clicking right now. Or well, the double click on the mouse is not so good. Uh, I think you should run it, just run it as administrator. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, Transformers is loading up right now. And we'll pull up. Yeah. Now get it up to the screen. Uh, let me click this to get this. And believe it or not, the game actually just It's actually nineteen twenty by twelve hundred. And now I'm alone. You can play the thing. I'll just, I'll just show people. It does game at a very high resolution and pretty decently, you know, because I think it's a combination of the gaming driver and the uh, 3 gigahertz uh, processor, and you know, it does have a, a decent amount of dedicated video RAM, 512. So, This round is a star scream, I guess. But that's the word. A silence anyone that sound the alarm. Yeah, but as you can see, it's it's pretty cool. So this is just a quick uh you know review of the SSD. And the SSD is great because it saves power, which is good for a high power system like this. Uh extends your battery life, lowers the temperature, operating uh, temperature of the la uh, laptop. Um but you know with a combination a uh, good combination like that you have a very quick laptop and this is a desktop replacement now the problem with this is that um and that's not the problem with this particular system is uh the fault of nvidia and uh dell is that they uh, actually don't support you know the, an updated professional driver and the problem with that is what if you actually really need to work with uh, adobe cs5 or cs6 
you know, for our Premiere or Photoshop, you wouldn't be able to use the GPU. I mean, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be uh, uh, recognizable as a professional card anymore because it's using gaming drivers. So that's something that Dell and uh, uh, Nvidia need to work on. But otherwise, if you don't use it for any After Effects, it's awesome as a gaming laptop now. But any <laughs> any questions or comments, just post them at the bottom of the video. Thanks.